Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So I want to talk about my January favorites today. Hard to believe we're kind of nearing the end of the month already, but we are. So I wanted to share these favorites with you this week. Also let you know, thank you all so much for your response to the Style Reboot series. I'm very excited about it too. In fact, I'm kind of like, why didn't I do this sooner? So um, it's going to be a long series. There are going to be a lot of parts to it. I hope you're patient with it. It's, I think it's going to be very helpful. I'm hoping it's going to be very helpful. The second thing I wanted to talk to you guys about um, before I get into the January favorites is that I did select an Operation Spread Sunshine winner for January. Her name is Rachel, and Rachel was recommended to me by one of you guys, um, Jan. Thank you so much, Jan, for recommending Rachel. So immediately when I got Jan's email, I looked at just the paragraph that she wrote about Rachel and I was blown away because Rachel has this incredible story. At the age of 20, right after her 20th birthday, was diagnosed with leukemia. At first she was diagnosed with acute leukemia and then very soon after she got a different diagnosis of chronic myeloid leukemia, which although it's a lifelong disease is very treatable and means that she can live. And so when I asked her like how, how she copes with this diagnosis, she says, well, I'm going to live. Like there's like, what's, what could be greater than that? And that's how simple she sees it. Like, it's just, I was either going to be diagnosed with this much deadlier cancer or this much more manageable and treatable cancer. And I take the treatable manageable cancer. She called it the best kind of cancer you could get. So even on the phone, she was upbeat, optimistic, um, just absolutely lovely. And at such a young age, I mean, to have that kind of wisdom and grace and, um, just courage is remarkable. Like I look up to her, I don't know how she's doing it, and um, I think we can all learn from her because what an amazing example she's setting. So Rachel, thank you to you for being such an inspiration. I hope you like your gift card. And for all of the rest of you, I hope you will continue to submit nominees because I'm gonna pick a winner every month. I have gotten a lot of great, great nominations and I'm keeping them in a folder. So every month I'm going to look back and consider all of the nominees. But Rachel just, uh, I mean, you know, they told her she would never have children. <laughs> and. Um, I don't know how you deal with something like that. I don't know how you deal with that kind of diagnosis at that young age and be okay with it. So anyway, she's awesome. And I'm so happy and proud to have been able to give her a little something back. Um, and that's the scoop on Operation Spread Sunshine. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay, so moving on to my January favorites. I have a lot this month. I'm excited to share with you. I wanna start with this necklace, the two ring necklace. This is from One by One Jewelry. You guys have heard me talk about them before. Um, if you've been watching me for a long time, you know I have this backstory with them. I met his dad, Sanjay is the, the guy running the company, and I met Sanjay's dad at this random San Antonio jewelry um, accessory show. Anyway, the one sort of bright spot in that event for me was meeting Sanjay's father and it made an impression on me. I thought the jewelry was so beautiful. I bought a bunch of pieces. Anyway, long story short, I somehow reconnected with them a year later and I've been trying to help them grow their business and sell their pieces. I am very supportive of their work and I think it's lovely. And so everything is silver and then it's plated with gold vermeil. And so, um, you know, it, that prevents things from tarnishing. Um, at least if you take good care of them, it prevents them from tarnishing. So um, Sanjay sent me some new pieces for Valentine's Day and he is offering another 20% off code if you guys are interested in Valentine's gifts. Remember, they do have this really sweet little packaging. So they do, you know, the little baggie and then they do the little box and then they have the ribbon and the tag and the whole deal. So you can just ship it right to somebody that you love for Valentine's Day and then they have this beautiful infinity um, two ring necklace and then they also have you know like literal hearts that guy so if there's a younger niece or um, <clears throat> and then there's the multiple heart one uh, and then they have the f they haven't had lariats this is the first lariat I've seen them have it looks a lot like Goriana um, it's very pretty very simple, very pretty. All of their pieces are very dainty, very simple, and very elegant and pretty. So anyway, they're offering 20% off. Um, the code is BUSBYVDAY20. 
Busby V-Day 20, see it here. Um, so if you want, you can order from them. It is in pounds, so you have to convert pounds to dollars. So um, like 49 pounds is around 61, $60. I looked it up, I, I'm not doing math. And so you get the 20% off, which is like another let's say $6 is 10%, so it's another $12 off. Um, so it's a pretty good deal, and they'll do free shipping for, for both UK and US viewers. So anyway, that's the first thing I wanted to feature because this necklace, um, it's so pretty. Like I'm gonna wear this every day, probably. Just, I like the circles a lot. I, I, and there are all kinds of like lovely messages you can put with this necklace, like, you know, we're connected. It's a never ending love. I mean, there's all these like romantic, sweet, heartfelt messages you can connect to this kind of a necklace. I don't want to get too sappy, but you know what I'm saying. So anyway, that was number one. Number two is these. These are perforated mules by Sam Edelman in black suede. They have a chunky heel and uh, they are closed toe. So I think last time I had a pair of mules, I said I'm, I'm de debating whether or not I should send them back because I already have one pair of mules. So now I have three pairs of mules. Two of them are open toe. So the reason I'm keeping these is because they're closed toe and they have a chunky heel, which I like. And they're Sam Edelman, so you know they're comfortable. And I think they're really cute. And you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with dresses, you can wear them with skinny jeans. Like there's a lot of options for these. Granted, if you live in the Northeast, you probably aren't gonna to wanna to do the mule right now. Uh, for us in the South, we obviously we can do the mule for you guys in the Northeast, uh, Midwest, uh, Pacific Northwest, you guys will probably have to wait until the spring to bust that kind of a shoe out. I know I featured these before, but they are still available and I just wanted to mention them again because I think they are so awesome. I'm wearing them all the time. I love the color. I think that they're just really chic and cool. I love the texture. It looks like real python. Um, it's just embossed. The heel is a manageable heel. It's like two, two and a half inches. It's chunky, so they're easier to walk in. They look great with white. They look great with light pants or light jeans. I will definitely wear these in the spring with dresses and skirts. So I just think that in terms of like a, a buy now, wear now, wear later, purchase. This is a great one. That's why I'm reminding you of it because I don't want you to miss out on that chance. I just discovered recently that a pair of one of my favorite pairs of jeans is now available in petite. And I thought it's so rare that you're like super cool jeans are available in petite. And the reason that I'm so excited about that is look at these, <clears throat> these jeans at the bottom. You see how they're all like ripped up and stuff. So when I wear them, and of course they're too long cause I am petite. I have to, they bunch or I have to cuff them up one time. So a lot of times I'll cuff them up and then I'll let that kind of hang out of the booty. So I'll do this kind of thing, right? Where the, the distressing is a little bit out of the booty, cuffed. But now that they're coming petite, I wanna order the petite because then that means this will fit the right way. And it's such a cool, like distressing at the bottom. So anyway, these are called the Lovers and Friends um, what are they called, the James jeans? No. Oh, oh, I know. These are the Ricky Skinny Jeans by Lovers and Friends. So I will link these below. You guys know I'll link them below. The other thing I like about Lovers and Friends is their jeans are often, the pockets are like rag and bone, small and high. So it boop, lifts up your bum. Uh, yeah, they are kind of like more distressed than normal for me. Like that's a big old hole in the knee. Sometimes I actually would prefer this over the mildly distressed knee because the mildly distressed knee with the straps across, you know, the threads across, sometimes your like knee fat can like poke out of the, you know what I'm talking about, the threads um, when, you, when you bend over or you sit down or whatever. If it's all open, then you're just seeing the knee. It's, there's no like skin peeping out of the thing. You, you guys know what I'm talking about, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, so those are available in Petite. I will link those below. They're available in black, and then there's like a light blue, like a retro kind of 1980s light blue. Another pair of jeans that I have just been a little bit obsessed with lately are um, Topshop Jamie jeans. And, you know, I discovered the Topshop jeans when I was doing a piece with Nordstrom for denim under 100, and I was looking for some great quality jeans that are luxe 
looking and feeling, but not with the luxe price. So is $100 still expensive? Yes, but most of these are, I would say, in the $70, $80 range. And still, it's still a lot of money, but for a pair of great jeans, um, I think it's worth it because when I buy, like let's say you buy a pair of $40 or $50 jeans at Old Navy or The Gap, um, the issue with those jeans is that you often get like the poopy butt. Um, they stretch so much that they lose their shape so that basically every time you wear them, you have to wash them just to get the shape back. So when you spend a little bit more on the higher quality denim, that's what you get. You get denim that retains the shape and that really lifts and really sucks everything in and that's why I'm not afraid to spend money on jeans and plus I wear them pretty much every day. So anyway, I discovered the Jamie jeans. What I like about Jam the Jamie jeans is they're incredibly high rise. I mean, right up in the belly button and I know that is traditionally called a mom jean but for me, I think it actually looks the opposite. I think it's like more youthful and um, sexy in a way and I love that it like makes my waist look smaller. So I'm all about the high rise jean. And then here's another pair of Jamie's that I have that's not, um, that's just in light gray. And you guys may remember these from Instagram. I wear them quite a bit. I really like them a lot. So, you know, if you're looking for a cool pair of jeans that's not gonna, you know, kill the bank, I think these are great. And then look at these fun little <clears throat> ankles on these, on these Jamie jeans. They're just like a little bit fringy, which I think is cool. Like I've seen the real extreme fringe ones that, that start from here and then go all the way down and just feels a little bit too bohemian for me, but I could get, I'm down with this. You know what I mean? It's just like a tiny bit of fringe. So I featured these on Instagram too. So I'm loving these Topshop Jamie jeans. I will say with the Topshop jeans, oh boy, they run so small. So I normally am a 25 or 26. In Topshop, I'm a 28 and I wear 30 inseam. That's another nice thing you can order inseam according to your height. So I order 30, which if you are over 5'5 five, five or 5'6, five, I would say you have to order the 32 inch inseam. Um, I know on the Topshop website, they do offer more sizing. So if you don't see it, like a, let's say at Nordstrom, because Nordstrom has a lot of Topshop stuff, then you can go over to the Topshop website and check there and they'll have like 28 by 30 and 28 by 32. So anyway, that is another favorite this month. I recently did a sponsored blog post with Nordstrom featuring winter white. I love winter white because I feel like when you're in the middle of winter and it's so dark and damp and dreary and you're starting to get like seasonal affective disorder and a little bit depressed and cabin fever and all the rest of it, um, white and light colors like pastel colors just really brighten your whole mood, I feel like. And um, so I did this piece on how to wear winter white to work, and I did three ways. So in the piece, I featured the same pair of pants, two ways, styled two ways, and these are the pants. Um, let me just take them off the hanger so you can really see them. They're by Millie. It's been a long time since I've ordered anything from Millie, but I saw these pants and I knew I had to try them. I think white pants are so difficult because if the fabric isn't just right, they look cheap. If you cheap out on the white pants, they look cheap. Um, if they have the pockets, you see through the pockets. Underwear, you can see it. Um, it has to be just right or it's wrong. So I always, like once a season, I order a pair of white pants and inevitably I send them back because um, they just aren't the right pants. And so I've been doing that for a few years and then I finally found these and I'm just in love with them. They don't have any pockets in the back, which I like. They have this seaming detail down the front, which is just permanent. Like it's not something you need to iron in there or worry about later on. It just is there and it keeps you looking longer and leaner and keeps the pant a little bit more sophisticated. Um, they're incredibly high rise with this lovely waistband, so you can add a waist belt to them if you want to. And um, the, the rise comes up to the belly button again, which I think makes your legs look a mile long. The most important thing is that they're wide leg, which is terrific. If you are petite like me and you do not want to wear heels, like high heels, four inch heels. You're going to have to have them tailored, which will compromise a little bit of the width at the bottom, but there's a lot of width. So I think you could get away with two, three inches, no problem, and not compromise the pant. The last thing that I love about this pants, and then I'll stop, 
just droning on about them, is that there's no pocket. And I know you want, you want pockets in your pants, but not in your white pants. Normally with white pants or white jeans, I actually have the tailor remove the pockets and sew them up because you always, no matter how wonderful the fabric is, you always see that big pocket. So these are just so streamlined and luck, luxurious looking. I'm telling you, they are, they're not cheap, but it's a beautiful white pant and I've been on the hunt for several years. So if you are like me and you've been on the hunt for several years, this is the pant that you want to invest in. Um, if you don't want to spend that much money or you want something that's a little more tailored in um, ankle length, I found another pair by Vince Camuto that also comes in petite. I tried on a pair of two petite, so I would say the pants run really big. Normally I would be around a four petite. So I got a two petite and fit perfectly. They're a nice rise. It's a nice ankle trouser. It's great for work and it's a great price point. So you can check those out. I'll put the link to both pairs of white pants below so you guys could check them out. What I want to finish with is some skincare. So uh, I have been using Colleen Rothschild for a while, I guess, um, since, since I met her at the blogger conference last spring. Yeah, that's a while. So we're almost going on a year. But um, I think they had a supply issue, so they sold out a lot of their products, and I haven't been able to reorder some things. So a company contacted me and said, hey, can we send you some of this Elemis skincare? And I just did some preliminary research on it. I said, sure, it sort of fills a gap for me because I can't get the cleansing balm from Colleen Rothschild, so sure, send it to me. So they sent me this guy, which is the Elemis um, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. It's the same concept as the Colleen Rothschild Cleansing Balm. Um, before I tried Colleen's, I had never used a cleansing balm. So if you haven't used a cleansing balm before, you're going to have that initial, like, what is this stuff? And I don't get it. You know, it's not like that same sensation of the foaming exfoliating cleanser. It's a much different feeling. Um, now that I'm used to it, I actually really prefer it and love it. It feels so much more gentle. It feels so much more, um, hydrating for me. So I'm kind of hooked on the cleansing balm. If you're not a cleansing balm person, you're not going to like this product. But anyway, so it, can, it came in a pretty big tub, a, a, a comparable size to Colleen's. And then this little stick, which um, you scoop into the, you scoop in and then you pull out some and put it on the stick and then you put it on your face. It's very um, hydrating. It cleans your face for sure. And the smell is different for sure. It's a, it's a stronger smell and I'm not normally a smell person. You guys that know this about me, I don't like strong smells. But with this, it smells like you're at the spa. Now it's been, I don't know how many years since I've had a facial. So every time I put this on, I feel like I'm having a facial. I did look up on the internet because it is sort of hard to track down what's in it. It is paraben free. So for those of you who don't want parabens, which probably should be all of us, it is paraben free. It's good for sensitive skin. And it says it's good for acne, although there were some reviews saying it wasn't great for acne. I don't have acne, so I don't know. Anyway, that's the scoop. They did also send me the night cream and the day cream. Um, and it's too soon for me to comment on that. I need to use them for another week or so or more. I feel like a good month is in order before I can give a, um, a good review of a skincare product. So, but I do love the cleansing balm a whole lot. You know, as a cleanser, I think you will like it. The smell is, you know, I don't know if you're going to like the smell or not. I like the smell because it reminds me of the spa and it is a product that they use in spas across the country. So, um, I guess it makes sense that it smells like a spa. <laughs> Maybe I've used it before and I didn't even know. So those are my January favorites and that's my first Operation Spread Sunshine winner. Um, congrats again, Rachel, and thank you so much for letting me share your story. And thank you to Jan for nominating her and thank you to all of you for nominating the other incredible women and keep them coming, guys. I really think this is awesome and I'm just so inspired by it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also pop over to the blog because there's different stuff over on the blog, busbystyle.com. And lastly, I just remind you that all of the stuff that I mentioned is in the description box. So, um, and if you have questions about any of that, you can comment below, let me know. Okay, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.